One out of every seven adults in the U.S. has some level of kidney disease, but many of those individuals aren't even aware of their condition. March is Kidney Health Awareness Month, and here with some important information is Dr. Rahul Debroy of Intermountain Health. The sponsors of this segment, thank you for being here, doctor. Hey, Kendall, thanks so much for having me. What can people do to, if they don't know whether they have a kidney condition? That's a little disconcerting to think that so many people may have this and, and are not doing anything to take care of it. In general, kidney disease affects, like you said, almost 15% of Americans. Mm -hmm. Now there's a slight disconnect. One out of seven Americans has this, but only one out of 10 can really identify that they, or know of, that they have this problem. Now why is that? Well, one of the initial pre problems with it is that the initial presentation of kidney disease can be totally asymptomatic or mm. silent. Because of this, it's important to screen for kidney problems in general. Now, even though people may be able to function at a high level, the damage is still being done in the background even though they can't feel it. Because of that, screening for kidney problems is very important. Kidneys have a, a large role in how the entire body functions. So if there is a kidney disease, it could affect so many aspects of one's health. Absolutely. So in general, the kidneys, I like to think of them almost like the filters of the body. Mm -hmm. They have many different roles, including making our urine, managing our electrolytes, working with our bone health, our blood pressure control, and they also interact with a lot of our other vital organs, such as our heart and our liver, in order for us to maintain a balance. Because of this, just like you said, if enough damage accumulates over time, this can lead to a variety of different problems down the line. Yeah, the chronic problems, what could that lead to? Absolutely. So unfortunately, due to other chronic uh, medical conditions such as high blood pressure, diabetes, the kidneys are very sensitive to these issues. Over time, this could lead to what's called chronic kidney disease, leading to damage in the kidneys that occurs. Now, it's important to check and screen for these things because we all may have either met someone or know someone who is on dialysis. Mm -hmm. This is kind of a severe form and kind of the end stage renal disease as we like to call it. So in order to prevent that, checking early and preventing this progression of the disease into chronic kidney disease is important. So what can one expect if they decide to get screened for kidney disease? Absolutely. So screening is really the key for the game. We can, it's important to establish with a primary care doctor so that they can check your blood work, some mm -hmm. urine studies as well, to make sure we find where on the spectrum you may lie. It's also important to note that just because you have some degree of kidney problems, it doesn't necessitate that it will always progress to chronic kidney disease or end stage kidney disease. The whole point of prevention is to catch it early so we can stop it before it really gets more serious. So with your general practitioner, when you're going through any blood test or, or urine analysis, that's the time to say, hey, let's make sure also that we're, being, we're screening our kidneys. Absolutely. As a primary care physician, screening begins with just the regular routine blood work. Instead of writing it off, I like to engage in discussions with my patients to make sure they understand why we're doing it, even if the tests are normal. So checking regular blood work, making sure not only helps us prevent, but also gives us a time point. So if this year, for example, your blood work looks good yeah. and next year it's abnormal, we can, hey, we can see what's happened in this past year and have somewhat of a chronologic order to know when this disease has occurred. Great information, and we hope everybody goes out and gets screened for it. Thank you very much, Dr. DeVroy. Thanks so much for having me, Ken. Thanks again to Intermountain Health for sponsoring this segment. Visit intermountainnb.org for more information. We'll be right back.